What is good, everybody? Today, we're back with the WWE Ultimate Edition review on the long-awaited WWE Fan Takeover WWE Ultimate Edition Seth freaking Rollins. Now, this is Amazon exclusive, and we have been waiting on this figure for quite some time. This figure was announced to us way back at WrestleMania 39 that we would be getting a Fan Takeover Ultimate Edition Seth Rollins, and if you don't know what a Fan Takeover figure is from WWE and Mattel, basically what it is is they give you three different gears, and you get to vote on it, and the fans decided that they wanted this gear here in the orange. I'm glad this one won. At least it's not a damn shield Seth Rollins and all those things, man, I would have had a conniption. Thank God it was a gear that was lively, that was different. But will it be any good? We're going to find out here today, man. Can't wait for it. We have been waiting on this for a very long time. I think it was WrestleMania 39, we voted on it. WrestleMania 40 access, we finally got to see the damn thing. And now we're almost at the end of 2024 and I finally have it in my hand. So this figure has been longly awaited and I can't wait to get into it with you. Of course, we do have the front viewing window right here, man. And again, this is Amazon exclusive, so do with that what you will. But front viewing window here, got all the orange flame gear going on. Ultimate Edition down there. It is not a mainline release. That's why it's got the red main border there with the white accents, but on the side you get a nice shot of Rollins there with all the get up, and then you do have a nice shot of Rollins there. And then it even has the gear here. So look at that. Clash at the Castle 2022, Elimination Chamber 2013, and Day 1 2022. Look at that shish, man. 16%. We almost got Shield Seth Rollins. Would have been a freaking just awfulness. But we got Rocket Man right here, man. Seth freaking Rollins on the side, and that is our packaging for our Seth Rollins Ultimate Edition. I feel good about this one, man. I can't wait to crack it open. It's been long awaited, man. I did pick up two of these, so I did get one to customize on Action Figure Surgery Episode 100, so we will get to that, man, but this looks fantastic. Let's not wait any longer. It's been two years. Let's finally crack this guy out of the packaging, find out what he's all about, and see how he compares to the rest of our Action Figure Collections. Rocket Man! So here's our Ultimate Edition Fan Takeover Seth Rollins out of the packaging, and maybe this is why it took two years. I mean, there's a lot going on with this guy. I mean, look at him. He looks like a goddamn Swiss Army knife or something. Guy looks crazy, but I am excited for this figure. We waited a really long time on it, and I'll be honest, I'm not really big on pants gears, especially for Seth Rollins. I don't know, man. I just like the architect. I like Monday Night Rollins. I like him getting in the ring with the tights and just beating the hell out of people, but I'll say this guy has been very charismatic, and I like the gear and everything going on here. I just don't like the pants, you know what I'm saying? I don't want him wrestling in pants pants. You know what I'm saying? He's not. Is he in his Shawn Michaels era? Is this what we're looking at here? I don't know. But I will say, we're going to get into the cuts of it. We're going to get into the glitz and the glamour of it. We're going to dive into the accessories first, and then we'll take a closer look at the figure of Seth freaking Rollins himself. So here's all the accessories that you get with the Seth Rollins Ultimate Edition Fan Takeover figure. And I must say, looking at the Fan Takeover logo on the packaging, I'm just looking at it right now in the back of the box as I review the figure. Kind of nostalgic in a way. Is that crazy? I feel like it's kind of nostalgic. I, it feels like yesterday we were getting the first sets of those and stuff. Could never find them, by the way. OG should remember the orange packaging, though. But nonetheless, I digress. We have to start off with the head sculpts here. And this is the same head sculpt we've seen for so long. This came on the first Ultimate Edition Seth Rollins. We saw this on the Elite. 112, the Elite 109. We have seen this head sculpt so many times. I'm pretty much over it. I, I don't want to see this any anymore. We need, they didn't even do the beard right or the fade and the way it was. It's supposed to be thicker under here and have a fade on the side, but yeah, we struggle to do that. It's a great head sculpt, but I'm just over it. I want to see some new ones. Same things with this one. Another really good head sculpt. Both of them are fantastic, really. I mean, they really are genuinely great head sculpts. I, we've just seen them over and over and over again, so I think it's time for something new, but I will say it's always, you know, good to see that we have a good one, so you know, I, I, I you gotta give it to them. Now, the other accessory you get is the helmet. Now, you have the horns connected. So, you do have the horns connected to this gold helmet. With so, you do have the horns connected to this gold helmet that looks like sprinkles on the top. And then you have the heart shades kind of connected to the helmet there with the horns coming off the top there. And you can stick this on the head sculpt just to see what it looks like. And it fits pretty well, you know. And it is all one piece. I think that's the way to go. You don't have to make separate pieces and it can just, you know, go over the head sculpt right there. And it's kind of, you know, it's not, it doesn't really fit snug, but it's not gonna fall off off really if that makes any sense but it looks good you know good entrance accessory you won't use it for anything else other than this figure though and one of the real highlights of the figure has got to be this nice jacket this flame jacket here you can see the flames coming up through here a little bit of like fake bedazzling going on there i wish it did have a little bit of shimmer but we'll take what we can get here it's got the collared shirt jacket entrance deal going on with all the flames on it very cool fits the figure kind of snug you know but it looks good on the figure and everything like that I, I don't know i did order two of these so i may customize one of them and what i mean by that i may like i don't know i may 
have some fun with a little bit, you know what I'm saying? But this is cool. I like the jacket. I like the flames and feathers going on with it. It's a very nice accessory, and it does have the Velcro on the front, so you can open it up and put it on there. And then we do have the wings accessory here, which I wish they could have added some detail here. It's very flat. Like, it's a good sculpt and everything, but you'll notice that it does have just orange, black, and red paint. It's not, you know, glittery or glam or anything like that. There's no shimmer to it. It may have looked like this in real life, I guess, but it does have the handles here, so you can put it on the back of the figure. But it would have been cool to see some more details out of this instead of just having it flat, but maybe that's how it looked. I don't know. I did see this. This entire attire was on display at the Mattel headquarters when we went to see it at WrestleMania. So they probably would have made this into figure form regardless if this won the vote. Like, they had a mannequin with this entire getup on it, and I got to get real right up close to it. I want to say that they were shimmery and had glitter and stuff, but nonetheless. Now, outside of that, he does come with mic holding hands. He comes with fisted hands that beat the hell out of people. He comes with the new improved Ricochet Kawhi Leonard handshaking entrance wide open style hands, which every figure nowadays does, I swear. And then he also comes with these sing-along entrance posing style hands that are famous for coming with Randy Orton, but I do like that they come with Seth Rollins, you know, for his entrance music. It's very, very quality. Good stuff right here. All right, man, so getting into the figure, we already discussed the head sculpt. The head sculpt, obviously, is the same. We've seen this before. It's nothing too special. It is a good head sculpt, like I discussed, but I would have liked to have seen something that we haven't seen before, but I understand what we're facing here with this fan takeover Ultimate Edition Seth Rollins figure. But one thing that is concerning here is on the torso, you'll notice no chest or stomach hair, which I know a lot of people are like, I'm glad it doesn't have chest or stomach hair. Well, Brad, did you look back here? What is this then? What is all that then? Is that, what is that? Is that just skin? Is there something on that skin? It looks like something's on there. So I, I like the chest and stomach hair. It's a really underrated detail on figures. And one thing's for certain, they left off the damn tattoo on his back, man. That's another egregious detail, man. They didn't put any deco on this torso. I don't know how that happens. I, I don't understand how that would be a thing. And I'm also noticing here that I think the, we need some sort of striated shoulders for guys like Seth Rollins, Finn Balor, Cody Rhodes, guys like that, man. These guys are pretty jacked. I think that it would really upgrade the figure. Like, look how skinny he looks. And I know that this is how the other Ultimate Edition was. I'm not, I'm not dumb, you know what I mean? I, I know that it's the same. It's got the black wrist tape and stuff, but I would have liked to seen some striated shoulders, some larger arms. I want bigger arms than this for Seth Rollins and guys like that, but I do like this torso. It's the Cody Rhodes. It's the Seth Rollins. We've seen it before, but we do have this new crotch piece going on. It's got the SR on there. No belt loops. It's just one singular belt loop in the red, orange, and yellow, which looks pretty good. And then we do have this flame pattern going down the sides here. And now one thing that's cool here is I'm pretty sure these are the same legs as the Seth Rollins beforehand. And I like this pattern going down the sides here. And this is very interesting because it's crazy that they didn't just give him regular pants. And this is what's cool is now it gives him shin cut. So you guys know I'm all about shin cut. So now it looks, they've made the pants not regular, re, you know, regular pants. They're kind of tights with low key tassels connected to a boot is kind of what it looks like. But I love it because it gets shin cut now. I love it. I think that's fantastic because if this was just regular pants, there would be no cut here and it would go straight down. It'd have thigh cut. It would go straight down. There'd be nothing here and it'd go all the way down to a foot that wouldn't even be able to rotate. So you do get a rotation here and then you get a little ankle rocker and stuff, which we'll get into. But that is very nice. I do like the patterns and this is a new leg sculpt or boot sculpt, if you will. You could actually unattach these and put kick pads in there and you could put these on a regular kick padded figure to give him fake tassels. You could do that. That's a thing there. And we'll probably figure that out on action figure surgery, but I like the pattern. The pattern's very cool and it looks like the knuckle cruncher set. Now getting into the articulation, I think it feels pretty good. The head doesn't get a lot of movement, to be honest with you, but you know, it's the same deal here. You get butterfly joints, fully rotates around, bicep swivel, double jointed arm, all the same articulation we've come to know. Diaphragm moves pretty good here. Tight waist there. He does have drop down hips here and he gets a really good kick forward. So you do get a good kick forward there. Pretty much above 90, which is kind of crazy. And then he can go out wide with it and it doesn't really feel like it's going to snap off. It feels very, very good. Very, very good. And I've found this with the elites. It's been harmful, but on ultimates, I feel like the ultimates have taken a step forward this year in terms of quality for whatever reason. But you get the upper thigh cut here. You get a double jointed, not pinless legs, which makes it buttery smooth. You get the chin cut, which is freaking fantastic, which that was on all figures. Ankle pivot here, and then you get the toe articulation there. Very fun figure to pose around. Not my favorite gear, I'll say, but damn, it's a fun figure, I'll say. I, I bet he probably will be up there with the best Ultimate Editions. But in terms of comparison, here are our two Seth Rollins up next to each other. And hate me if you want, I like the first go around better. Better gear, chest hair tattoos, all that, and better robes. So, I mean, I think that the first Ultimate Edition was better. Not to say, though, that this figure's not damn good, because I think it is. But I think I'm going to have to get some decals for the chest hair, stomach hair, and the tattoo. Because, again, man, look how much better this looks just for that simple detail. Do you remember I, Elite 45 Seth Rollins? If that figure had chest hair and stomach hair, that figure would be ultimately better. I don't know how that's not an ultimate. How they
they haven't done Elite 45 Rollins in the white gear, completely upgraded with new everything from Rollins from that era with the US and WWE Championships, is beyond me. It legitimately writes itself. On this formula, it would be outstanding, but they won't give it to us for whatever reason. I don't know. I don't make the rules, man. I just break them. It's crazy. I don't understand. But I do enjoy this figure a lot. It's just, I don't think it's as good as the first go round, and it is what it is. But I think that about does it for this fan takeover. WWE Ultimate Edition Seth Rollins figure. For everything that it's worth, I think it's going to be up there for one of the best Ultimates of the year, just with all the glitz and glamour it has going on, man. Really fun figure, execution-wise. Not my favorite gear, like I said, but the head sculpts, they're reuse. You know, no chest or stomach hair does bother me. That's a, again, I talk about this all the time, man. A really underrated value of a figure is going to be chest hair missing on the figure. Not to mention that he doesn't even have the back tattoo, so it's like they just left off every deco on the chest and every part of this torso, which is very annoying. That's just some things you can't leave off. I think that those are subtle details like we talked about. I would have liked to seen some new head sculpts and stuff, but I do like the crotch piece. I like the legs and everything. It poses around well. It's fun to shoot. I mean, there, I mean, God, why wouldn't you like this figure? I don't know why you wouldn't like this figure besides that it's not tights, I know. It's our second Ultimate Edition Seth Rollins. I love the first First go around, I would prefer, for the record, I would prefer the first go around. I would prefer the mainline Seth Rollins Ultimate Edition over this one right here. But it's not to say that this figure is not badass. It is. It's a very cool figure. It's awesome. But it's not my favorite. It's not my favorite ever. Will it be up there with some of my top 10 Ultimates of the year? Probably so. I mean, you know, it just, uh, we'll have to rank it. We'll have to get it, break into the criteria and, you know, get into the, we'll have to get into the weeds of it and break it all down at the end of the year and see where it goes. I know we only have like a month and a half left for the rest of the year, which is absolutely sick. I feel like 2024 just started. We're almost in 2025. That is just vomit induced. But this figure is a lot of fun, man. If you want to grab this figure, I do recommend it. I think it's great, but I don't think it's absolutely must have without a shadow of a doubt. I like the accessories, not my favorite gear. Good execution, great figure overall, but I don't think it's necessarily needed. I would say that the first one's better, in my opinion. In my humble opinion, I would say that the first go-around's better. But if you guys want to grab this again, I don't know if it's available on Amazon right now or not. If it's up for pre-order, back order, I have no idea, Brad. You'll have to go over there and find out for yourself. And I don't have one of these, like, Amazon links and stuff that, you know, people... I don't know. I don't really... I, I don't know. I never liked it. Nonetheless, man, a huge shout-out to our Patreon members, man. You guys are unbelievable. Thank you guys so very much for your support. As always, you guys are great. I, I appreciate you so very much, man. You guys will never know how much you mean to me. But I appreciate you guys so very much. I'm getting the hell out. I hope you guys did enjoy. Leave me your thoughts on this figure down below. I'm getting the hell out. I'll see you guys next time. Have a blessed one, and I'll catch you guys later.